Social robots are robots designed to interact with human beings and with their fellow robots in a way that can be perceived as being close to human interaction. Often designed in such a way that they have complex AI or computational systems and also have a body so to speak, be it a cute robot face, a humanoid body or a more machine-like outward appearance, social robots are used or proposed for use in different contexts. Contexts such as nursing care, offices, entertainment and marketing among others. But before we go on and continue with this interesting topic, I would encourage you to subscribe as I post interesting content daily that you don't want to miss. Let's go. Let's dig a little further into how social robots are used or proposed for use in different contexts. They are proposed for use in nursing homes as assistants to mostly the elderly and their caregivers. In the context of offices, social robots are proposed as applicable in terms of things such as teleconferencing. When a conference participant can only attend the conference remotely, a social robot can be programmed to facilitate their physical presence. Social robots can also take various tasks in office contexts. The promise underlying social robotics is that embracing social robots into human lives will enable people to have lasting personal relations with robots. Social robots can be with us and live with us and impact our society and personal lives by addressing issues of isolation and companionship. We know that almost all facets of our lives are right now in some way or another medicated by hardware and software. However, conversations around the extent to which these tech systems can be applied in our lives are currently rife. Rightly so, because while tech systems can make our lives easier and can make us more connected to each other, they also come with serious concerns. What are some of the concerns that embracing social robots can come with? What concerns does the idea that robots can be used in caregiving roles or office roles surface for example? A major concern surrounding embracing social robots is that it would make people more dismissive of forming actual human relationships and having human interactions. In the case of the caregiving context, it is very easy to picture people leaving those who need care solely under the hands of robots. The elderly and the sick end up isolated when we adopt the belief that caregiving only entails technical caring tasks rather than other social aspects as well. It is also very easy to imagine how adversely social interactions can be affected if people turn to social robots as the primary source of companionships. Social robots provide a kind of escape from having to be responsible for each other's emotions and it's easy to imagine people choosing to have social robots as companions that don't need much responsibility rather than create companionships with fellow humans. Neglecting our relationships with each other can come with overbearing emotional and social harms. Another concern that comes with adopting social robots is the matter of confidentiality and data privacy. Social robots raise heavy concerns of disregard. Being AI systems, or they are vulnerable to cybercrime, for example, can be easily hacked to obtain access to people's data. Those who share confidential things with social robots that they have around for companionship cannot be certain that what they share will be secure. Matters of confidentiality also arise with regard to those that perceive care services from these robots. Families of the elderly and those living with dementia can cross certain boundaries and use the robots as surveillance tools. Certain programs may also make those receiving care feel like they are under control or in otherwise abusive patterns. This may make those receiving care more sick or more stressed from having to deal with social robots rather than having their well-being improved. Another ethical concern about the adaptation of social robots comes with issues of employers devaluing people's jobs. The assumption that social interactions in the workplace can be easily replaceable by adopting robotics raises concern about the kind of work that are given more value to than others when are thinking about how AI arguments can work and are organized. While not yet widely adopted right now, social robots and the robotics field itself raise concerns worthy of being looked into at the stage of their development and computerization as part of our lives. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.